guys, welcome to today's video. Uh, lots going on this morning. So uh, this morning, tried to finish up our spring cleaning. We've been trying to get it all done. Cleaning up stuff, but it's hard when you have chickens here and lizards there. Are you hungry? She's like, feed me. Oh, all the crickets in her crate are in her thing are dying. Our baby chicks are doing so fabulous. Sophie has them almost completely trained to be affectionate and loving. Yeah, Bella pecked me. Bella pecked her. I, I kiss her and then she pecks me yeah. and grabs my lip. It hurts. So uh, we've been trying to clean and get ready for Easter. We always have like a big Easter dinner with our grandkids and our family and I want to have like fun things for them to do. Mostly every time it's Easter, we normally always have chicks. Uh, I don't know if we always have well, chicks. we've had them before when it was Easter. Our actual chicks though are going to hatch soon. So now that I'm looking at our our incubator. I like the ones with the motor on the top because if the if you buy one with a motor on the bottom, then it can get wet and it can short out and it's just a disaster. So I like this one. But at the same time, it's so dark up here that you can't well, look you it. Can't see through. Our lid is not staying tight. Oh, I don't like that you can't see from above when the chicks are hatching, but you can see like down here. They'll be hatching by the end of this week. I know there's a couple of eggs that are not <laughs> viable because through candling them but like one for sure but I don't want to take them out because in the past like long years ago when we candled our eggs it looked like some were not viable and then we culled it from the incubator and then later there were baby chicks in there so I'm nervous to do that one for sure one of the little tawny ones we have three Little baby, you know, the little white puff balls. I love them so much. We have three of them, and I only think one is viable. The little white puff balls. The little white puff balls. I love those. Anyways. These are little black and yellow puff balls. Yeah, so I'll try and put a picture of them right here so you guys can know what I'm talking about. And then these ones behind us. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys a quick story before Sophie and I head out to do what black, we're doing this morning. Black and yellow puff so, balls. You guys know that my dream chickens are coaching chickens. And the reason I love them is because we went to this barnyard and we saw them, a whole flock of these little cochins walking across the barnyard. And they're massive, huge, massive chickens. They're so big. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I want those chickens. So then the next year I went back and I told the guy I want some of your coaching chickens. And I bought two coaching chickens and those are the coaching chickens we have now. They never grew. They're just tiny, small coaching chickens. And so now, I realized that I got a bantam breed of coaching chickens and I didn't even want a bantam breed of coaching chickens. It makes me so frustrated. So uh, these chicks here are actual big coaching chickens. People keep asking me the names. Um, the smaller one, which is that one, the baby. That one's Bella. The tiny one. And the bigger one is Leo. Yeah, it's hard to see in there. But anyway, they're a few days apart. Our lily that Sam bought us the other day is starting to bloom. Uh, Sam and Gabby have gone to Costco to get dog food and hopefully a few other stuff that we need to get. I didn't want to go. Sophie and I have something else different that we wanted to do today. So we're going to do it. I had a dream. Everything good and everything bad starts with a dream. I literally have so many things I have to do today, but Sophie and I are like, let's do this instead. <laughs> All right, let's go. So um, last night I was sound asleep, minding my own business, and then we ended up being somewhere, and we ended up rescuing a goat, a baby, not a, not even maybe a baby, just a goat. I think it was a baby, and I'm like, I do not want a goat. We do not have a good setup for goats. We need a goat. And we ended up with this goat, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like what the heck breed is it even? And then it was a breed that I absolutely don't want. So I woke up this morning, I'm like, we are not going anywhere where there are any goats or any oh. sheep. And now Sophie and I are headed to some place where there's goats. A lot of animals, you guys. We're headed somewhere where there's a lot of animals. We're, we're looking at the goats. So let's go. So also, you guys should know, Sophie dreamed a cat that she rescued an home. elephant. She rescued drowning. an elephant. So that's weird. And now we're at a place with animals. Yeah. It must be sheep day. Sheep day. Look how cute. Oh. <laughs> and only one lonely cow, a couple of cows. 
cow. Oh my gosh. Baby, baby sheep. You're so cute. Hi, sheep. <laughs> well, hello, baby sheep. All right, they're not babies. Bah. Hi. How are you? You're so Hi. friendly. Aw. Oh, look at them. Don't bite Hi. Me. <laughs> Don't bite me. Don't bite me, babies. Oh, look at that one with the beautiful face. Look at so that pretty. one. That one is so sweet. The one with yeah. the, that one? That one's <laughs> banana. She's that like, one. no. <laughs> well, hello. Aww, <laughs> oh, oh, look at you guys. They are adorable. So, if you guys are new to the channel and you don't oh, know where we funny. are, you don't know where we are, we're at our local sales barn. There are only two sales barns left in Canada. And this is one. And it can be a scary situation or a sad situation for people watching because people don't understand. These are where a lot of livestock are brought for the day to be auctioned off and find new homes. So it's sad to see them like in pens and in, in. And so that is true, but we come here because sometimes we find horses here, sometimes we find like amazing things. We've bought chickens here, we've bought like special treats here. And if you were gonna buy any of these goats, these what ones, ones, I would buy this. I would buy this black one right here. Yeah, they're really cute. That's my favorite breed of goat right there. So right now, right now there are not many things at the sales farm. We love goats though, but I don't want any goats because we have plans for our future that don't involve goats. And that is what I was saying in my dream last night. I was like, we do not need a goat. So maybe that's just all I dreamed, that we came to the sales barn. But you're really cute. Hi. Don't bite me. You're really sweet. Blue eyes, Sophie. This one has blue eyes. Yeah. I was gonna say it would be really cool to find so, if you've been following our channel for any length of time, you'll see that lot often when the girls were small and before the girls, we had the girls even, we did bottle baby goats and bottle baby sheep. And <laughs> and oh, they're fun. That one went to us. Oh, hello. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Look at one of the horns is weird. Hi. See that horn? Hi. So cute. This one's the disabled one. The disabled Just pretend. one? Yeah. So in my dream last night, we took a goat that needed help. But we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No goats. Okay? <laughs> These ones are cute. I love the color of that one. Yeah, we know you're all... Whoa. You <laughs> want That one's like, take me, take me. You're mine. Aww. You guys. Hello. You're adorable. Yeah. Our room is still so cool. These ones are really cute. They're really fluffy. Oh, hi. They haven't been sheared yet. <laughs> Sophie has really bad luck. Yeah, <laughs> he snaked her out. <laughs> Don't look in its eyes. Don't look it straight in its eyes. <laughs> who remembers? Who remembers last year? A couple of years ago, <laughs> Sophie had a stand up. Oh, look at you. Sophie had a stand up with a chicken and <laughs> ran away. It was the funniest thing I ever saw. Oh, if I find it, I'll put it in this vlog. That's how funny it was. So you are really cute. You're, look at how calm this guy is. I, I want to touch you. All right, I'm coming. Look it. Are you his mom? And a baby. Yeah, that's its friend, at least. If not mom. Probably the mom. Oh, well, you're cute. You're two different colors. So these are babies. Oh wait, they're not babies. <laughs> this is what it looks like where the auction part comes. You sit on the benches and then they bring the animals there and the auctioneer sits there. We're out, we're free. Nothing there for us. Thank goodness. Thank goodness we got out. 
with no goats. So the reason that the girls and I, and even Sam, love to come here is because it's such a huge learning experience. Like you get to see different breeds, you get to learn about different breeds. Uh, before COVID, this was like uh, such an active place for like chickens. Like there were chicken breeds upon chicken breeds and they were all outside and bunnies and and like all different kind of fowl. Like you could find anything here in it. There's like a yard sale here and it was like you could find animal stuff, livestock stuff, equestrian stuff. Like there used to be everything you could imagine at this place and we loved that so much. So we like to come here. It is sad that the rehoming of any animal is sad. Auctions are sad because it often means like the end of something for an animal and the beginning of something new and it's hard to see. I get that. Do you get that? Yeah. So what did you like about today's visit? Uh, that there were baby sheep and we watched one jump over things. Yeah. I like goats better than sheep for me personally because the whole shearing issue is a big issue for me and I feel more comfortable with goats. They're a little bit more trouble to keep I feel like than sheep. But not as babies. Like we've had bottle babies, and bottle baby goats are easier to handle. Remember than... when we had a uh, miniature pig once? Yeah, we've had pigs. Like we've had a lot of animals over the years. If I had said yes, what would you have bought today? Um, the baby sheep. The baby sheep. The one that jumped over everything. Yeah. I would not have bought anything. There was nothing here that piqued my interest, but it was fun anyway. Go home and see what Sam and Gabby got at Costco. Hi guys. Um, so I brought the chickens out and I built this little playpen for them. And my mom said that they would not be able to fit through these holes, but little Miss Bella over here fit through the hole. Now it's my dog's house. <laughs> The dog just jumped right in there. <laughs> Daisy, you're dumb. Get out. We didn't think the chicks would be able to get in. And we're out. And we didn't think the dogs would go in. Get out. <laughs> Come on. Come she's, on. she's like, no. Come out. Daisy. Get out. <laughs> okay. Leo couldn't get out, but Bella could. This was supposed to be a playpen for them, but they decided that they liked the couch better. So Sophie wanted to build this and I was like, yeah, okay, go ahead, You're build it, it'll be fun. To. She still likes to play with toys and babies and animals. All right, put them in there and we're gonna show you what happened. <laughs> She's like, mom, you promise they won't be able to jump out? And I was like, of course they won't jump out. I'll leave him. I know, they love that pillow. All right, so this, <laughs> she put them in and then this is what happened. Put that guy in too. Did they both jump out? No. Hold on, let me put these guys in bed so that they... Molly Ruby bed! Molly Ruby bed! In seconds, they just jumped right out. The little one, not the big one, right? Mm-hmm. Would you like to watch them while I grab the thing to put alongside? Sure, I'll watch them, Sophie. Um, Sophie built this thing. I just had to use zip ties. I didn't do that one. The ones that are long, I didn't. I did. And the ones that are short, I didn't do. And they're just pooping everywhere. I mean, that's why we got it. <laughs> and she escaped. Oh. Getting ready to head out with Sam. I just wanted to show you guys something really quick. So I've said this so many millions of times, you guys, about horses, about pigs, about cows. Well, okay, maybe not about pigs, but animals love comfort. They love soft, fluffy, amazing oh, comfort. Like we put this little bed in here for the chickens and they jumped right over top of it and laid down and went to sleep. Like animals, what are you doing? <laughs> Animals love comfort, just like people do, and we stick them in mud pits. We save them out in the rain, we stick them in the mud, we, I just, I hate how we treat animals, you guys. I take that back. Sam and I are headed out, and I see a brown horse with blonde hair down there. I don't mean a tan horse, a brown horse. I can see it from this far away. Gracie is muddy. Don't you know?